Hi everyone, it's really good just to be able to share with you again today. I hope you all keeping well. Now today I just want to share something with you. Well actually I want to do the Lighthouse's first film club with you because today I want to recommend a film to you. Now the film is called Breakthrough. Now hold back, there might be hundreds of you out there who will say that old thing we knew about that ages ago but it was new to us and so we watched it a couple of nights ago and we're absolutely blessed by watching it. If you haven't seen it, here is a short clip which will tell you a little bit about what goes on. I'm grateful for my son, for I know that you've created him for a purpose, thus far only known to you. <laughs> Love you. Have a great day. He's been underwater for 15 minutes. No one can survive that long. It took a mother's strength. Please send her Holy Spirit to save my son. To bring her son back. We've got a pulse. I don't believe your son will survive the night. I'm not giving up on him. When no one else believes. You need to be honest about John's chances. He will speak life over John. Believe the impossible. We will remember what we witnessed today. There's simply no explanation. Breakthrough. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and gives you a little bit of a feel for what the movie is about. Now, a lot of this movie is about the relationship between a mother and her adopted son. Don't worry, no spoiler alerts. But one thing that really stood out for me throughout the movie, she says to her son several times, you have a purpose and you are loved. And that keeps her, that she holds on to those promises uh, and it gets her through the really tough times when she knows she has a firm belief that God has a purpose for her son and that he loves her son. And that got me thinking in... In the times that we're in now, we are in, uh, for some of us, in a really, really difficult situation. And how much more are those two promises for us that we have a purpose and that we are loved? And those are two things we can get hold of. How do we know we have a purpose? Well, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, in that early part of that, uh, that chapter, God talks about the purpose that we have, and that is to live our lives for Christ. The detail of that, well, we have to work that out as we go along, but we do have that promise from God that we have that purpose uh, to live our lives for Christ right until the end. And how do we know we're loved? Well, the whole of this book tells us how much God loves us and demonstrates that to us. And no more so than in the most famous verse, the most quoted verse in the Bible of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And if that's a, not a de biggest demonstration of love to us, then I don't know what is. So if those two things, you need those today, that you have a purpose and you are loved, you hold on to those, you keep those close to you and know that God will, will, will see you through what you're going through now with the purpose he has for you and with the love he has for you. God bless you. Be blessed. Speak to you soon.